Welcome to the JNO Show. Where we talk about tonight's conversation and displaying wife qualities when you dating. Mm. Lego. You said do wife duties, display wife qualities. I think you can absolutely display that you have every quality that a wife should have without doing it all for it. I can show you what I got without giving it to you. For example, as a, as a man who's dating, right? I can show you that I provide infrastructure. Pause. Pause. What do you think about that? Are you asking me? I don't... <laughs> Yes. yes. I feel like we. I just spoke on this. Yeah. 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 Literally. It, it's, it's nice to hear them talk about that. Like, for example, when you and I was, well, we ain't never really date, date. Nope. But when you and I date. was like courting friends, getting yeah. to know each other. I, I, we I don't just know. chilling. When we was just chilling. <laughs> Could you, was I displaying wife qualities? Bro, I want to think about no wife back there. Right. That's <laughs> we we going back to nineteen seventy. <laughs> really? I, I, I remember what, it, what what happened was we went out to the car, right? Um, mm. when we got out to the car, we had to pump the gas pedal a couple of times, turn it over, Bruh. and uh, the car finally started up, <laughs> and we all jumped in the car. We was about to pull off. We took our eight track, we put it into the. <laughs> you ain't never seen no eight track. <laughs> <laughs> Not in real life. I saw a track. You did? Yeah. yeah, yeah. What, one of your uncles had one? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, that was literally who it was. It was literally one of my <laughs> uncles had an A track. But back, you know, back then it, it was I wasn't even in that space when we got to, but we were both teenagers. Yep. Yeah, that's when true. When we first um started yeah, dating. That's true. Calling ourselves boyfriend and girlfriend and all of that other stuff. I was just like, you mad cool, you funny. We have amazing time together. We don't mm-hmm. have no strife, no beef. You were nice. You were polite. You were clean. <laughs> you weren't dirty. You weren't stanking. You, <laughs> you didn't have no funky attitude. Mm-hmm. You didn't dislike people. You were pleasant to be around. And that was it. That, that was all. Okay. That's all most guys need. Because yep. all I was thinking about was, oh, you could be my girlfriend. And that was, well, not even when we first met. But mm-hmm. matter of fact, I was running from you the whole time. So. <laughs> No, I wasn't trying to think. Of, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't want to know if you had wifely qualities. I was like, Nah, bro, I'm out. For real. I mean, we could tell the story. Well, well, we already did. We can. Well, insert here. We actually already did that. She keep on doing that. Yeah. Now I got to go looking for this thumbnail. <laughs> And that one she talking about was from like three years ago. Now I got to go looking for this well, thumbnail. See, you need to just go back in our catalog and just watch all the videos up until this point. That part I can agree with. We good on that. Okay. Infrastructure. I'll plan the whole date. All you got to do is tell me when you're available. If you have any, if you, if you have any dietary restrictions, if you have, right? If, if He said, if you got any dietary restrictions. Why women got so excited? They're like, oh my Lord, he going to plan the date. Oh. Because women like that. Bruh. Women like the, spon- the spontaneity and also that you've taken the time to actually think about a date. No. Put Bruh. them together. They got real excited about yes. that. Him saying that he was going to plan a date. Yeah. Ladies. <gasps> I'm talking to y'all. I Ain't that the truth, though? Yep. Don't you, don't you appreciate having your husband? Because, you know, this is the channel for married people. By married people. And people who want to. Be married. Yes. So wouldn't you be excited if your husband just randomly just plans a date for you? Mm-hmm. Don't ask you about nothing. Just tell you to, you know, go on and get dressed. Or go on and pack a bag, yep. overnight bag. Right. Get real excited about that. You see her over here, her hand. <laughs> she doing I'm just saying. <laughs> Look, that's how Nala got here. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hi, Lion. He ain't lying. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Say it ain't the truth. Wow. <laughs> see, she, she be forgetting. All, she putting all of it in the same. Hey. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't want the. Oh, I gotta get a. I gotta get a lower thing. Cause this is like. Sort of, kind of, in your way. Yeah. Oh, man. He, he trying to say, I we whisper. Gonna, we gonna wait. We, I we, whisper. She does. <laughs> or I'm just loud. If, 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 if we talking about protection on the first day, right? I don't, I, I don't, like, ma- married men, I don't owe you the protection of laying down my life, but I can make sure you actually make it to your door when I drop you off. Absolutely. I can walk closest to the street when we walking on the sidewalk. I can show you that I'm paying attention, that I'm considering you, you feel me? So when, when you look at the inverse of that and look at when you, what you consider a good wife, you can show a man in the beginning a whole lot of things. 
And, it, and you don't have to center him in any of it because that's what it means to, to do wife for a man that's not your husband is to start to center him in your life. And that's not your husband. You feel me like y'all not a unit yet. So to center him in your life doesn't necessarily make sense, but you can show him a whole lot of sweetheart. Hmm. Right. Hmm. You got anything you want to you want to throw in there? I'll let you go. No, well, you know, I'm a dominate anyway. So that's why I always give you a chance to. I know. I got to marinate. Okay. No. I want to think of a different viewpoint. Okay, look, I picked this because there's always a conversation about should I do wifely things and what's the line of wifely things I can do? And Mm -hmm. guys be dating you and be like, oh, I want to know if you can cook and I want to know if you Mm -hmm. can do this. And the girls, I want to know if you can provide. And we have all these all these questions. Now, the first problem that we have with it and the reason that that this is always like such an issue. Mm -hmm. You know what? We should switch. Oh. Okay. And the only reason we should switch is because of the, the microphone. Oh, okay. So, so I'll talk this way. Wow. <laughs> and if you guys made it this far in the video, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Make sure you give us a thumbs up and turn on your post notifications so that YouTube knows that you appreciate what we're putting down. What we're putting, what down. We're putting down. The real issue is that the version and the way that we're deciding to do the dating thing right now is not the most efficient. It's not the best. It's not the best we've ever done. Nope, nope. It's just not. So that's sort of getting in the way and that's sort of messing a lot of stuff up. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've gotten so used to it that we don't think that there is any other way. Right. A lot of people and a lot of people like dating this way because it makes for a lot of short term dating strategies. We actually did a video about a, two weeks ago mm-hmm. where a guy talks about it. Right. Yeah. So <laughs> he already talked about it. I think I'll put it in another video as well. The way we're doing it now, it just makes part of the reason why everybody is using short term dating strategies, which is well, short term mating strategies, excuse me, Hmm. is because we're putting ourselves in a circumstance where that's what you would use. I don't know you. That's true. So I'm checking superficial things because I don't know you. Mm -hmm. And because that's how we're dating. And I don't think that this is. This is like Pandora's box. I don't think this is something we could put back in the box. You mean this kind of dating strategy? Dating. The way we are. I don't think we could put it back in the box because people would rather our society burn in flames before they give up the freedom that it has given them. Mm. Men are not going to. Well, certain men are not going to want to give up all of the all of the walls that they they can get with this dating strategy. Mm. And certain women are not going to want to give up the access to the wide array of men that they get with the way we're dating. Mm -hmm. Because if they go back to the way we used to do things, certain women are not going to have access to certain hope, hot hole, high. (laughs) That was a Freudian slip, I guess. (laughs) Um, Certain high profile men that they would have access to and certain men would not want to give up the amount of hoo ha that they can get the walls. <laughs> this crowd is not going to want to give those things up regardless of how society is doing it because we're selfish. We don't think about nobody but ourselves. And it's sort of because America was founded on the pursuit of happiness as opposed to flourishing for the whole society. Like we don't have the Eastern mentality of we're going to sacrifice for the good of the whole. Mm-hmm. That's never been the American mindset. The American mindset has always been, I'm going to do what I got to do to pursue my happiness. And it, and the reality is we've gotten to a point now where people no longer care how that's going to affect everybody else. Mm. So that's th- sad. That's I mean, to be honest, did they really ever care how it was going to affect everybody else? Only to the extent that it might come back on them like they didn't want to have karma. But other than that, was it really? I mean, there's a group of people who probably have certain religious or spiritual beliefs who would be selfless or try to be selfless. But a, a lot of people, spe- oh, that's another thing. Yeah. This is why I don't like to get started, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> because part of the thing is taking Jesus, Jesus. Mm-hmm. taking God yes. out of the equation mm-hmm. has put us in a situation where people no longer have that stopgap 
for people who wouldn't stop and think, oh, how this harms society is not good. Mm -hmm. People think too highly of themselves. Well, people in American society, because they think that people are going to behave without the belief in some type of higher power that will punish you at some point for everything you do. Mm. If you believe there's no punishment, most people are going to do whatever the heck they want to do, regardless of how it affects everybody else. Because, yeah, because the reality (laughs) is, you know, most people really don't care until it affects them. And a lot of people will only be stopped by religious precepts that you have in place because they're thinking about the punishment. Hmm. There are a lot of people who will only act like a Christian because they don't want to go burn in hellfire. But for society, it's best that those people will at least be held back because they at least be like, man, I ain't trying to burn in hell for that. Hmm. Because if they don't have that, what is going to stop them? True. They're just going to do whatever they want to and they don't care how it affects everybody else. And that's sort of the position we are in society. That's why the dating market is so bad. That's, I mean, that's one of the reasons because it's also, you know, men are becoming more conservative. Women are becoming more liberal. We're taking religious out, religion out of it. People well, have I, unprecedented freedom and they wouldn't give it up no matter how it destroys everybody else. Mm-hmm. We're more selfish than ever. We're more materialistic than ever. There's a list of reasons why the dating market is horrible. And that's just one thing on our list. Mm. So I didn't know if you had anything else that you wanted to say. As usual, I dominated the video, so. No, I don't think I do. No. No. Nothing new. Like I said, I feel like we just talked about this. We did. Um, And my viewpoint still is the same. It ain't Mm. change. Go back and check out these past few videos. Mm. Um, (laughs) But yeah, no, it's just the way how we're doing data is not working. Mm. Um, I think that we need to kind of, not kind of, but we need to change that, number one. Because it's, it's leaving us in a space where we are just kind of just going through what the guy call it DoorDash dating. Mm. We're just kind of, you know, just picking through like we online shopping for something, mm. <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. for a person. And if the way you date is you're allowing yourself to put yourself out there and, and giving your all mm. to any and everybody that you date, it's like you're messing yourself up. So when you do finally find the one, you have a lot of baggage that you're bringing along because you have all these failed relationships or situationships situationships <laughs> that you've been in. So, yeah, I mean, I don't disagree with what he shared. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. Guys, I need you to do me a favor. Oh. I need you to hit that like button. Mm-hmm. I need you to hit that subscribe button. Mm-hmm. I need you to hit that notification button. I need you to hit all the buttons. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> hey, everybody. Down in the description, there are two links. One is to a GoFundMe. And the other one is to a video that explains what the GoFundMe is for. Mm -hmm. Long story short, we have a medical situation with our daughter that we have to pay for everything out of pocket. And we can really use you guys' help. If you have the time, uh, we'd love for you to go check it out. If you have the money, the funds, we'd love for you guys to help. If not, maybe you can send a link to somebody else who can help. Uh, We thank you for your time. Thank you. Peace. Press the off button.